Like I mentioned in my last video on creatine, creatine is easily the most beneficial supplement in the fitness world. Yet, I keep hearing from young and old people alike that they're scared of it. For some, it's due to some strange social miasma created by years of misinformation. For others, it's a cursory Google search that yields a bunch of troubling possible side effects. Personally, I'm done with the hearsay and the unearned infamy. It's time to let science do the talking. At the end of the video, I also have a challenge for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Let's get this shit. So, what do people say when it comes to the negative side effects of creatine? Well, some of the purported negative side effects include, but aren't limited to, kidney damage, liver damage, kidney stones, weight gain, bloating, dehydration, muscle cramps, digestive problems, compartment syndrome, or rhabdomyol rhab rhabdomyolysis. Good God, that word is just trying to suck, isn't it? Oh, and some people think it's an anabolic steroid somehow. Yeah, I know. So how much of this list is legit, and how much of it is pure nonsense? Not including that anabolic steroid one. That one is just too dumb to address with anything more than a simple message. Read this over and over again until it sinks in. Got it? Good. Let's move on. In 2003, researchers did a study that they called long-term creatine supplementation does not significantly affect clinical markers of health in athletes, and if the title wasn't enough to get the point across, they state that, quote, results indicate that long-term creatine supplementation, up to 21 months, does not appear to adversely affect markers of health status in athletes undergoing intense training in comparison to athletes who do not take creatine, end quote. But let's get a little bit more specific now. On to the weight, water, cramping, and bloating concerns. Creatine does cause your body to drive more water into the muscle. As a result, it might have caused some people to generate the untrue theory that creatine causes dehydration. In another 2003 study, NCAA athletes were studied over three years to see if creatine supplementation increased the risk of cramping or injury. Spoiler alert, they found that, quote, Creatine supplementation does not appear to increase the incidence of injury or cramping in Division 1A college football players. End quote. Blood tests in this study done on the athletes also revealed no change in hydration levels or electrolyte levels, which would be indicative of muscle cramps. Hilariously enough, in a study done on individuals undergoing hemodialysis, a treatment that does increase muscle cramping in patients, those who supplemented with creatine actually showed reduced muscle cramping. So, it doesn't cause dehydration or cramping based on the current research, it actually reduces it, and the quote-unquote bloating is increased water retention inside the muscle. Let's keep it pushing to rapid weight gain. When it comes to creatine's reputation for causing rapid weight gain, a 2003 meta-analysis revealed that creatine did increase weight rapidly in those who took it, but that was due to the aforementioned increase in water retention in the muscles in the short term, leading to about two to six pounds increase. And long term also showed an increase of weight gained due to the increased muscle mass, not fat mass. And to clarify, water in the muscles is good. They need that. And if you have concerns over weight gain caused by a positive shift in your body's decision to hold water in a place where it needs it, there is a much more serious issue you're dealing with involving your relationship to weight, the scale, eating, and your body. This isn't a joke. You should speak to a qualified professional about that and work on reestablishing a positive relationship with those things. I hope you can get the help that you need and live a healthy and happy life, honestly. Next, your kidneys and liver. How are they affected by creatine supplementation? They aren't. 
To date, there has yet to be a study that shows creatine having a negative impact on liver or kidney function in healthy individuals. The increases in creatinine that are seen in individuals who supplement with creatine are not related to the increases in creatinine that would happen in an individual who is not supplementing with creatine and suffering from liver or kidney issues. And if you're about to whip out that one 2006 study that often gets paraded around as the proof of, quote, dangers of creatine, end quote, it's important to remember two very important facts when it comes to that study. One, the guy was on lots of supplements. Suspiciously, creatine was the only one mentioned by name in the title. Because reasons, I guess. Two, this is exactly one study going up against a mountain of evidence to the contrary. The word insufficient is warranted here as an adjective to describe its validity to the conversation as a whole. The real lesson here is you should be wary if you have a history of kidney and or liver issues when it comes to creatine. But that would go for a lot of other things as well. Creatine isn't special in that regard for this situation. So, digestive issues. Will creatine make you crap your pants? In 5 gram doses, there was no increase in gastrointestinal discomfort according to a 2008 study on the matter. But 10 grams was associated with a 37% increase in the risk of diarrhea. The solution is hella simple. Split your doses across the day if you're taking more than 5 grams. And if somehow you notice you have a problem at 5 grams, split that into 2.5 gram doses throughout the day. Problem solved. Rhabdomyolysis, or the breakdown of skeletal muscle tissue and the release of their contents into the bloodstream, is another misguided idea that has been proven to have no basis in fact, as the increase of creatine kinase seen in those supplementing with creatine is not associated with the condition and simply a result of the supplementation. Nothing more. The compartment syndrome argument is also false, as a study found that creatine supplementation and heat training created an increase in pressure in the muscles, but it was from the heat and dehydration, not the creatine. Also, the pressure was short-lived and insignificant. So, yeah. Oh, fun side note, studies as long as three years have also found creatine supplementation to be safe in children. Just saying. The last one I hear a lot is hair loss. According to a 2021 article published in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition, this one is all down to one study on one guy that nobody can replicate and that only pointed to an increase in a marker associated with some hair loss cases. Ugh. So worthless. Just, come on, yo. Really? We really doing this? So by this point, there shouldn't be any further argument, right? If you're still scared of creatine, your fear is 99% guaranteed to be irrational. What reason could you have to think this is anything but safe? And if you have a reason, I encourage you, go to the comments, throw it down, let me know what it is. I will address them personally. I mean, to a point, let's be reasonable people, but I will come at it personally with scientific evidence for at least the first of every one of your crazy concerns that might pop up. But I want to hear about it because quite frankly, I can't see anything via any of the research that's been done thus far. As with all things, especially supplements and health and fitness in general, to make sure you're at your best and staying healthy, regular checkups are essential. See your doctor regularly, keep an eye on your health, and this shouldn't even kind of be a problem according to the literature. By the way, all the references for this one are in the description below along with my social media links. Check them out, follow me, and make sure to like this video, comment on it, share it with a friend, and subscribe for more content like this. Your input is how I know what you guys want to see, so throw one in the chat, let me know that you liked it. And as always, stay shining, because the galaxy can only be a bright and beautiful place. We all shine together. Peace.